Yogendra is saying, please help understand following quote. If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. Well, first thing is, if the teacher is alive, it is best to ask the teacher, what do you mean by this? He said it, no, so he, he must be knowing all those things. But uh, yes, uh, if the teacher is no more, like they're very ancient or they're inaccessible, then you can ask somebody else. But always remember that it will be an interpretation of somebody else's saying. What do we do on the path of knowledge? I show you your experience. That's all. We do not interpret text. We do not interpret anybody's teaching. What he's saying, if you're torturing yourself and just serving others, you're not compassionate. Yes, isn't that obvious? You're, you're not compassionate about yourself. Then uh, it is simply show off of some kind. So you, let us say you are ignorant and you worry about the situation in the world. You worry about the situation of children and environment and all. And you say, I'm very compassionate. Is it okay? The Guru is after you. Fix yourself. Fix yourself. First, come out of the darkness before checking the, somebody else in the darkness. The Guru is shouting at you. What are you doing? I, I want to be compassionate. That's all I want. Can we call it compassion? Can somebody answer this? I'm channeling Jack now. <laughs> I, I don't say all these things, isn't it? Ashwin is saying not blame. It's the biggest blessing. No, I'm joking. We are all blessed. Now enjoy. I party every day like Sweetie is saying. <laughs> every day is an enjoyment for her. That's what I keep saying, no? That why do you celebrate Diwali once? Why? Festival of light. You want to be in darkness for the 364 days? Celebrate it every day. As soon as I start getting greetings on the Diwali day, you know, with the photos of the lamps and all, disturbs me. What were you doing for the rest of the year? I said, where was the light? Why today nobody has wished me happy light festival? Why? Where are you? Same way people celebrate their birthday only on one day. Somebody on the path of knowledge, they won't celebrate their birthday, first of all, because they know I was not born. Second, even if the birthday of the creature, this individual, you know that I am all. All the creatures is me. So there are probably one million birthdays, birthday parties today, isn't it? It's all happy birthday every second. <laughs> the real fun is of the Devi, you see. Devi is celebrating all the birthdays. Why Why can't you do that? No, I'll celebrate only one, only once in a year. And I'll invite only three people. I love only those. What a miserable life. Look at my pictures of my birthday from 10 years ago. Pitiable, isn't it? Do I show you my pictures of my birthday? <laughs> do you know my birthday? Have I shown you the pictures of my marriage anniversary? No marriage, no anniversary. All party only, you see. Every day there is party. This continuous honeymoon for me, you see. Your, yours is gone, isn't it? Yeah, it's all light festival, all, all the time. If you are in awareness, it's light all the time. Now, do you need to do the shopping madness on one day and declare it as national festival? Can you see the amount of ignorance in our society? The festival of light is turned into shopping madness. It, this copy of the Western festivals, isn't it? Was this like this even uh, 100 years ago? Mindless copying of the West. Pragya Singh celebrates spouse's birthday, big birthday, big Maya. <laughs> So make Maya your spouse every day's birthday now, isn't it? I need to celebrate my child's birthday today. Look, all children are your children. So, yes, you need to include yourself in the compassion. Otherwise, it's incomplete. Guru is telling you, you see, don't, don't be in darkness and you're celebrating Diwali and then rest of the time darkness. Even on Diwali, what is there? It's darkness. It's greed of some kind. Worshipping money. That is their festival of light. I'll need to, I need to worship gold. So this is not compassionate. This is not being compassionate towards myself because I'm keeping my ignorance alive and I'm worrying about the illusion that is the world. Fix yourself first. Then that is real compassion. Then the real compassion starts. You find out, you know, use your intelligence and, the, and then find out that, you see, the real problem is ignorance. Start lighting the lamp of knowledge. 
are we not celebrating Diwali like this by lighting the lamp in everybody's house? That is our goal, isn't it? Actually, these things are told in our culture. Celebrate Diwali by lighting the lamp in your house, then share the lamp and the oil with your neighbor. Give them a lamp and gift. Do we do that? No, we don't. And also celebrate by cooking, eating and then sharing that food with your neighbors. Actually, we used to do that. I remember when I was a kid, there was a pile of sweets and uh, all these things which was made by my mother. And there was another pile of sweets and things which came from all the neighborhood. Everybody just dumped their sweets in our house. And I was sent with these packets of sweets to other houses. Go and give it to them. I don't think this, this is happening nowadays. What do they do? They rush to the uh, market, malls, and they get as much as possible because there is a discount, isn't it? And they dump it in their houses. So <laughs> this is kind of amazing. Yes, they share gifts and all, but if your gift is not expensive, no, you're not worthy of my attention. The society has become like this, you see. A pit of darkness. Ashwin is saying, there is celebration inside even while there is total chaos outside. Yes, <laughs> you are that chaos, you are that peace, you are everything. Acceptance, surrender. Even this is misunderstood by some people, you see. Newcomers, just a pile of misunderstanding, isn't it? I was like this, I know. And uh, I used to ask, what is the use uh, of surrender? It means all chaos and all everything is going wrong in my life. You want to, you want me to surrender, sit there quietly in bliss, peace, because the bliss and peace was understood as inactivity by me. And it took some time <laughs> for me to find out that um, there is bliss and activity also. Everything is going wrong in your life. You're, you're busy fixing it. It can be done in blissful state. Do that which is needed is the mantra. And that mantra puts you in bliss instantly. I'll give you an example. Recently, there was a series of events which included uh, punctured tire, <laughs> no air in my tire. In, it included going in a remote place to, um, you can say, certain office where I had to wait for three hours doing nothing. Then came back and no food you know, a series of events. But uh, that day, the awareness was such that, okay, this came up, now I need to do this. Do the next thing. That's all was happening. And uh, when everything happened and came back home after fixing whatever I could fix, and there was no complaint in my mind. Usually, usually it is like, what a bad day. Worst day of my life today. But when this was done like this, you know, okay, this happened, let's do this. Okay, that happened, let's do that. After reaching home, there was no complaint. The face was peaceful. It was fresh. Okay, 20 emails and 30 messages on Telegram. Do the next thing. So you want advantages. This is the advantage of awareness. Life flows. And I'm not saying you won't get irritated and you won't get angry. And <laughs> it, is, it is all okay, you see, in the end. If there is awareness, it's all okay. The newcomers, usually the thing that, you know, I don't have qualities of the guru. I need to cultivate these qualities of the guru. I need to be, you know, like he said, vegetarian. Then I need all my relations to be perfect. Then uh, <clears throat> I need to be peaceful, calm. And this voice of a radio announcer all the time. <laughs> News reader voice without emotions. How is it possible? It is one thing to cultivate qualities and it is another thing, thing to let it happen. You cannot become the guru, you see. You can become only that which you are. Remember this much. This is called awareness. To be that which you are. Now you will become whatever it, you need to become. No, I'm not improving. Well, that is because there is no improvement inside. Parthip is saying, I am amazed to see net of desires. The world is indeed a net of desires. Some desires are seen only and no action taken when knowledge and desires are not mine brings fruit. Some desires bring action automatically. Will this causal body ever lose interest in creation via desires? As you know, the causal body loses nothing. The causal body evolves. Uh, nothing is destroyed in this creation, we say like this. Simply changes. And when it, when it changes from less complex to more complex, 
we call it evolution so now your answer is there now pratib's answer is there will it lose interest no simply becomes something else evolves i think i need not say more than this you know the rest of the story what is happening to the causal body suma is saying every moment is celebration and awareness yes even if your celebration looks like sitting and reading a book peacefully it is celebration because you know the rest of the 7.99 billion they don't have this luxury <laughs> so you are celebrating much more than anybody else our celebration is not noisy it is a peaceful being isn't it that's most beautiful why do we need to make noise firecrackers and sound pollution and air pollution food pollution <laughs> gift pollution that is ego pollution isn't it so it has to be very silent and pure that's all is celebration you know you are doing it eternally you are going to do it eternally also and if there is noise if there is music if there is wine and food okay <laughs> it's perfect celebration anyway and is saying as the saying goes charity begins at home until one knows who they are they can't be compassionate to others in fact they can't understand what compassion is yes you see pity the confused pity with compassion and you know those who are in psychology they understand the phenomenon of pity it is projecting somebody else's suffering on myself that is called pity compassion means passion and coming together some other meaning isn't it karuna daya and karuna I mean, if you want sanskrit names there is difference pity is projecting somebody's suffering on myself and then the ego is you know agitated oh this can happen to me let me fix this situation sometimes the compassion is total uh, selfishness we need to save the forest why i need a better future for my children your children <laughs> what about others children you see even the biggest of the big they make this mistake we call them uh, philanthropists something like this just selfish people isn't it so uh, if we say things like this in the society they will just kick you out of the society they don't want to hear these things ego is totally you say a corrupt fellow does not want to hear that i am corrupt it covers up its egoic activities with a coating of compassion pity and whatever kindness so only on the path of knowledge we understand what is compassion it is eradication of ignorance you cannot eradicate it from somebody else until you are in, you know in the light in knowledge charity begins at home yes